Hi, I'm Henry from BlueHeronArts.com. This is a, a special seal I'm going to do uh, today for Anthony uh, Antoine in um, France, and he's a, a student in my online class. Uh, this uh, mood seal he chose uh, as um, the content of uh, a gift for himself from uh, his parents. And he wants me uh, to carve it to make it even more significant for him. So i like to thank in advance um, Antonio's uh, parents for choosing this uh, special gift uh, for uh, Christmas. And uh, the content of this seal is uh, learn um, from nature. Shi Zhao Hua. Shi in Chinese. Uh, it's a is a noun also serve as a verb uh, teacher also to teach uh, actually uh, here is a uh, uh, how to say nature is teacher teacher after nature something like that so zao hua zao means uh, to create creature um, and hua means to change. Zao uh, Hua is a compound word in ancient Chinese meaning nature. Uh, we also say Zi Ran. So Shi Zao Hua is the same as Shi uh, Fa Zi Ran or uh, learning after nature. So in inspiration uh, from nature is the meaning of this seal. And uh, I have made a transfer uh, to the stone with a special liquid called acetone uh, nail polish remover so I'm going to carve this and uh, since it's a uh, car you know with the animal statue top so I use this uh, tool to fix the stone on the on this seal bed Now this is image on stone is a mirror image. So I use this mirror image as a reference. So I start from the first character Shi. The style uh, he chose is like a, a ver a varying art away uh, characters like ancient seals. So. I try to keep that uh, design uh, style. So using uneven cut, so it's not easy to do. So you try to control the pressure, just like uh, using brush to write. And sometimes wave the, the knife. This part I keep the tip in the center, just like the tip concealed stroke in calligraphy. And notice the difference between carving and design. So you you have to open mind to accident accidental effects all the time. There's no way you can carve the design a hundred percent. It's called repeat carving, just to make the line thicker.
I decided to just let it chip because uh, the stone uh, is very different from each other. So this stone has a natural texture in it. It cannot. Um, I have to go with the the chi of the stone, the natural uh, texture of the stone. If it's not uh, smooth, then you have to go rough. You know the. So just have to flow with the natural. You have to change the design according to the situation. Um, there's an accidental chip, so you need to adjust the design a little bit. Now it's time to uh, make the margin. Um, we use a big uh, knife to knock it. Knocking out the uh, margin. And then you can also use knife directly to shape the margin according to the design. Originally, this step is to create some uh, random chipping uh, effect on the margin so the stone cannot be um, re the seal cannot be reproduced it's also created a kind of natural wearing uh, effect aesthetically normally we knock the margin only but sometimes we do knock the center even 
to make a um, very dramatic effects. Okay, <laughs> now it's going to um, clean. Um, it's going to be cleaned, and uh, uh, we'll come back with uh, that to do a initial imprint. Now it's time to do a initial test stamp. The uh, statue uh, face the user. Okay, it's a little bit uh, cheap, uh, more uh, varying, but uh, I like that. Uh, it's very nice. I think the uh, a little bit uh, adjustment make the stroke more even. Okay. Let's do another one. Okay, let's uh, make our official stamp. Okay, done. We'll make another in, uh, imprint for the customer. On this special paper. It's a very thin rice paper. So you can make a very dual copy. I I like to uh, thank Antoine uh, for your special uh, gift uh, commission um, and thank your parents of course and a happy Christmas uh, happy New Year uh, also everybody on YouTube uh, thank you for watching and uh, if you need a name chop for someone you love uh, or as a uh, gift or for yourself. 
uh, please contact us at uh, blueheronarts.com. Bye-bye.